The wedding, um, it was actually, we were moving quite quickly, um, and uh, but that didn't mean that we were trying to cut down on quality. We really knew exactly what areas we wanted to put in our investment, and photography and just capturing that, uh, that specific memory for us was a big, important factor. And so we looked at a, actually quite a lot of different photographers in a short amount of time. Um, but for me, it was really important that the photographer not only had good quality images, right, and really had the aesthetic vibe that I liked, but could also vibe well and mesh well with my family, with our, with our guests, because I wanted to capture not just your like staged images, but I wanted to capture Kodak moments. And so it was really important that the photographer would also be able to make our guests feel comfortable so they can get those genuine types of reactions. And so I would say at the end result, it worked out really well because we got our wedding album today and it's fantastic. Um, we got all of the Kodak moments that we wanted. So it to gave us from the beginning all the way to the end of what our wedding day was like. And so it's something that we're gonna cherish for the rest of our lives. So we're really happy. When we initially booked, we weren't thinking about the wedding album. We were thinking, hey, we're gonna get photos and then we'll have to probably figure out what to do with these photos, right? But then we got the album, which of course takes care of everything for us. And so now it's like, it's interesting because I have something that I can just easily look back at instead of just fishing through files and trying to find things, right? And so it's nice because right now I'm kind of getting emotional already, just thinking back to how that day went. Everything from not just the first look, but how my best friends and I got ready in the morning. Um, I remember those conversations, how my husband um, was having those one-on-one -on -one conversations with his best friends and he told me about that later. How my niece and nephew were involved. Like it, it's, it's just, it's, they captured it really, really well. And um, if you're hesitant to do anything when they're like, hey, I just want the photos and then I'll just have the photos on file, I'll figure it out later. First of all, one life happens and so you just don't have the time for that. So there's a timing and a convenience aspect. Two is once you have an album, I think the reason why it's so important and it's nice to have it, it's a great investment to do it, is because quite frankly, the day of your wedding goes by so fast. And so you prepare, it could be for six months, it could be for a year, it could be for how long, but the actual day goes by if, if what it feels like in like five minutes. And so you might not remember every little detail, but if you have an artifact afterwards, you do look back and now I'm looking and I'm starting to see what my guests look like. I'm starting to see the little details that I might have missed. And so it's, it's no longer just a five minute thing and experience where I have to kind of relay back on memory. Now I have an artifact where I can go back and say, oh yeah, this is what happened. I am by no means a Photoshop expert, However, I mean, I've got cell phones, we've got all these filters, we've got all these different things. And so I've got different things where I'm like, I like a certain style. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna come here and say, hey, because I know my experience on my cell phone, that I am no means a photographer or an expert in that type of area, similar to how I'm not a doctor. But when I came here to Studio Sue, it was nice because I trusted that they knew how to take handle the situation with all the different edits. And so what I mean by that is that I have my own aesthetic. I wanted some, you know, I wanted some Photoshop. I didn't want it to not look like me, but I wanted it to be kind of blemishless, flawless, right? And um, when I and I knew that I can trust the Studio Sue folks here and staff because one, I've seen their images in the past, and I know people that have come here before. So when I see their photos, it's people I know. It's cleaned up. It's really nicely done. It's very tastefully done. And so when I came with our photos, which first of all, there's like thousands of pictures to pick from, right? I didn't know what to expect because I thought maybe, oh, they're going to edit a thousand photos and then from there I pick what goes into the album. That one wouldn't be efficient and two, it would cause me a massive headache to try to pick through a thousand photos that have all been edited. And so it was nice in the procedure wise to just for me to trust that, hey, they're professionals, they know what to look for beyond what I can look for and let them kind of do the free reign. And so they came, they I let them pick what they thought would look great, right, for the album. That was my stepping stone to go in and say, oh, here's certain things I like, here's what I don't like. What I was surprised though was is, I thought that was done. They then took that and they did all the edits that I didn't know that they were gonna do, which was wonderful, right? It was all different edits that I didn't realize I wanted until they brought it to me and I saw what it was. Um, so it was a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> and so then the final product, when I see it now, right? Because I saw the final edits from an online portal. Now I'm seeing the final edits. It's beautiful. Like I'm looking at it, I'm like, shoot, I wish I looked like that every day. <laughs> I look like that every day. I wish my husband looked like that every day. I wish my guests all looked like that every day. Like, it's wonderful. And it's and it's not 
something where I'm, I feel like it's a lie. It's just, if anything, it feels like they took into consideration some of the insecurities I had um, and very tastefully did it so that it's not something where someone would look and be like, oh man, that girl like hacked half herself off. No, it's not that, it's just, it's still me, but it portrays my the way that I saw it in my head down onto the image, which is it's just very tastefully done. So I appreciate that a lot.